Number nine, you know what marmots are? They're basically chubby squirrels that live underground in mountainous areas. Uh, here's a clip of a few of them with some music underneath. Ooh. Stinkers coming wow. along later on. Is this we a new over delivered at the top here? Is this a new animal? Is that why we're just hearing about that? Yeah, uh -huh. the marmots. <laughs> it looks like a party, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. All right, number eight, Travel and Leisure came out with a list of the top 100 hotels in the world. And this is what readers chose as number one. The Mahali, Missouri, Kenya. It's a luxury safari, safari camp that was created by Richard Branson. It's set up in a conservancy way out in the African bush, and there are just 12 luxury tents right in the middle of all that nature. But you're safe, so they say. No animals can get you while you sleep, and what people like is that it's a real adventure where you can go see the real migration of these amazing animals and then go back to the resort and get pampered and oh, have yeah. great food and wine and swim in a pool. Best of both worlds. It's about $1,000 a night, and that's during the off-season, which seems kind of cheap considering the food and booze and the safari is included, but uh, huh. I don't know what the peak season's like. Right. Well, does the off-season mean the animals are, are there away? So oh, you're not good question. Yeah. No, I don't right know. Yeah. They're all in Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I still, I, I still wonder when I see the video of these Jeeps going on safari yeah. and they're like, oh, the animals don't go near the Jeep. Right. Well, is there a memo? Have they <laughs> talked Probably to the, I mean, they could, the why would they? The I'm no sure animal. one of these days when I'm in there, they're going to come and when you're hippos. in there, come on. When the hippos have <laughs> heard what, what you've been saying about them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They're just waiting for they're you. They're coming to get me. Yeah. Uh, number seven, maybe the Jetsons were onto something. According to architect Chris Lawson, these are the homes of the future. He laid out his vision in four different ways. Life on Mars, life underwater, life in the clouds, and life in an underground post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> That's an optimistic view. Yeah, yeah each, huh? each home is designed to withstand the elements of its particular environment. For example, the home created for life in the clouds is a hover home, like a drone, only 10 times larger, with giant propellers that continuously spin. Oh, I'm, sure that's, yeah, I'm sure that's perfectly safe. Ah. The electricity never goes out? Yeah. Ah. The batteries on the propellers don't die at some point. Uh, He's a dreamer. Yeah. yeah. For him. All right, number six. We talked about the beauty of hairy arms last week. Now let's celebrate all those uh, so celebrate all those celebrities with nice hairy chests, of course. We had to start with Tom Selleck. That's is yeah, that, yeah. Who's, Who is that? Is that Eric that? Estrada? No Pierce, oh, Mark Ruffalo. Pierce, uh, Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Connery. No, who Don Draper. Uh, uh, John Hamm. Uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's not that hairy. That's, Common. Right? That's not very yeah. hairy. Yeah, not very hairy at all. That's Who's Gabe that? Kaplan. Uh, no, it's <laughs> <laughs> Young Gabe. Oh, the Gossip Girl guy. Uh, uh, what's his name? Dean Martin. Oh, and there. And, I gotta tell you, these chests are a little underwhelming. Yeah. I yeah, was expecting I mean, a lot more hair. Yeah, this doesn't even count. Paul, undo a few buttons. Really give him a show. <laughs> oh, there's there, that Alec guy's Baldwin. a contestant. And how about a Burt Reynolds? I mean, remember? I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's like the 70s. It was just. Yep. Mm. Hmm. All right, number five, thanks to the Pulp Librarian Twitter feed for these photos. We'll, we'll play a little fashion game with them. Uh, which is worse, this fashion from the late 80s okay. or from the late 90s? Oh, wow. 
That's a hard one there. Yeah, that's a hard They're one. Both awful. 80s. Hmm. Did you ever have those Zubas pants, Lair? No. Yeah, no, I'm I surprised at you. Those had parachute pants, though. Now, what were those? What was the difference? 80s? They had, like, zippers on the side. Oh, yeah. Big on yeah. roller skating rinks. <laughs> My roller skating team. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 80, 80s pants a lot more versatile, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, but the pastels good, aren't great. Good the pair of windbreaker pants, back. though. You can't can't beat a good pair of windbreaker pants. Remember all those uh, like uh, warm up suits that you'd have that were like the swishy pants, yeah. so when you'd walk, you'd. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can't touch this. That's a hard choice. Mm. All right, number four. The Farmer's Almanac released its winter predictions. <sighs> Oh, no. How do you feel about the old Farmer's Almanac? I don't have good feelings. No? About All right. It, no. Well, anyway, they called it the season of shivers. We guess winter's going to be cold? Well, let me keep reading. <laughs> let me keep reading. They claim if you're feeling warm and fuzzy about winter, you might not feel the same once this one is over. According to the Farmer's Almanac, it will be colder than usual here in the upper Midwest this winter, but uh -huh. also drier than other places. If you're wondering how reliable this information is, the Farmer's Almanac has about an 80% accuracy rate in yeah. all of its 240 years. Is that a stretch, Paul? Well, it you know? depends on how you define accuracy. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, them just saying colder than usual, that's right. kind of vague. They don't get right. pinpointed to a temperature like you no, do. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're right. making big generalizations, yeah. which is appropriate. They're yeah. fine. It's for mm. the farmers. Right. Number three, there's a new um, auction featuring some of the greatest vehicles ever seen in movies. They were all featured in the 2015 movie Mad Max Fury Road, so they're not traditional. They're more like destruction machines, including the Giga Horse, the War Rig, and the Doof Wagon. Oh, yeah, the old Doof Wagon. You can find them on the Hoyd's Auction House website. We're not sure what they'll end up selling for, but chances are we can't afford them. Mm. All right, uh, number two, uh, Classic is making a comeback. Comfortable designer jeans. Gloria, you're terrific. <laughs> yeah, and they don't cut or pinch anywhere. What makes them this comfortable? They're my new stretch denim jeans, and they are a pleasure to wear. I used a special Marjani fabric Ooh. with just enough give, so they feel simply wonderful on, and they fit like... Like the skin on a grape. Stretch denims that huh. feel as fantastic as they fit. Gloria Vanderbilt stretch denims for Marjani. Huh. Wow, like skin on a grape. I huh. heard that one before. Gloria Vanderbilt jeans came on the scene back in, the in 1976. They were a staple of the 70s and 80s fashions. Some of those most popular items of clothing in the world. Uh, and Let me take it from here. All right. Project <laughs> Runway's do. Christian Seriano oh, just revealed you. his new designs for the brand. Skinny, slouchy, flare, boot cut, metallic design. Well, isn't that interesting? That is. They're yeah. all coming back. Huh. Everything old is new again. What a gift. Uh, I will say what a gift it has been that these high-waisted jeans have made a comeback. Yeah, because yeah. really, the Lord, yeah, there was a us. whole muffin top problem going on for a yeah. long time yeah, when you had these the low-waist jeans. And it's just fantastic. Yeah. I'll tell when you, you what, turtlenecks and chunky sweaters come oh. back and you are in yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, I can't wait. It's we're, coming, yeah. It's turtleneck season. Yeah. We're yeah. starting yeah. the countdown. Yeah. I'm going to kill it. Those sweaters, you can pull them out again. Do you wear your overalls over the turtleneck sweaters, or is that too? Is that a faux pas? Right? No, I've not. I got it. That's one. I never dipped into the overalls because I tried those guess overalls back mm -hmm. in like the late '80s, and yeah. it was just—I looked like I was an ice cream cone. Yeah. I couldn't. It was huh. not working for me. So sadly, an ice no. cream cone. Yeah, yeah it's like. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> not, a, not a good yeah. silhouette, like a pear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A pair with legs. That was me. So, yeah. Oh, well. Anyway. Uh, all right, number one, this clip is a good way to get your week going. Over in England, they had a show back in the day called Top of the Pops, which was basically just like American Bandstand or American Idol. And there was a group of dancers called Pan's People who created a routine each week for a song that was at the top of the charts. Check it out.
just made that up? Wow. We want to dance. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the American equivalent was solid gold. Yeah, absolutely. These, Remember the these, solid gold dancer who danced better. to every top oh, ten song? Oh, yeah. That's right. So I'm going to call out our swimming? producers to pull some of those highlights yeah. with Victoria Principal and Andy There we Gill. go. Uh-huh. Uh, Keeping it current. <laughs> I'm sorry, I Maybe am. we can pull uh, the Ed Sullivan show, too. Uh, <laughs> Charlie <laughs> Chaplin. Huh? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Those were good times, Larry. Yeah, I'm glad you're in that with Coming me. Coming up at 930 at Talkie, see? <laughs> <laughs> And These dancers are nothing. Another thing we beat the Brits at. Yes. Dancing on pop shows. Take that, England, and the Queen. <laughs> Not bad, the Queen in a swimsuit out there. They just yeah. a chance. Oh, yeah, something. But they didn't, didn't push their greatest oh, assets. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. You can talk about a pair with legs. <laughs> <laughs> Hi-oh! Is that the night at yeah. nine? Yeah, I are think we so. done? That's, that's <laughs> <all>. <laughs>